Good afternoon, landing crew. Usually I don't do intros to vlogs when I'm editing, but as I'm editing this one, I realize what a hot freaking mess this is. Normally I would scrap a video like this, but then I thought what better way to show you guys how crazy and chaotic a day in our family can be. I think anyone that's been following us for just a little amount of time will know that our family is crazy, chaotic, but this video really captures that. I look a complete hot mess guys but in my defense in my defense i just took two of my most high demanding kids to a water park the day before i woke up to my teenager struggling to breathe on the morning that i was supposed to be taking my preschooler to an evaluation so it was a little bit rough okay but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoy the hot mess train that my life is and let's get going Good morning, guys. This is not the video you're supposed to see. You were supposed to see Lex going to his evaluation at the school. However, Danielle woke up this morning and she is having issues breathing. She has asthma. I think it's the change in climate or weather or whatever. She's done her inhaler like three or four times. She has a nebulizer, but for some reason in the move, we don't know where the treatment stuff is for the nebulizer. So we are going to the hospital right now just to um get her get her going this is kind of par for the course with 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 asthma and with danielle <laughs> i had to reschedule lex's appointment which sucks beyond belief they can't see him until the middle of november now of course danielle breathing takes precedence over that anyway but they can't see him until the middle of november and then she said from that point it's about six to eight weeks before the evaluation is completely done but that they are going to be evaluating him for autism as well um like on the school level kind of thing so i'm glad that they're being thorough but it's a lot this week isn't getting off to a really good start and my eyes are so irritated from the water from yesterday we will keep you guys updated what's wrong what'd you do i don't know and it might have been when i slipped on the stairs today is not my day mom. that's what i told dad i was like today did not start out the week good i want to have a better week than last week let me just get all your stuff out <laughs> Thanks. Guys, I love this ER so much. They're so quick. I mean, what time is it? We're out of here in an hour. They gave her steroids. They gave her nebulizer treatment. We're just gonna follow up. She's gonna be steroids this week and hopefully it gets better. You said every six hours. Yeah, every six hours she has to take it and just kind of get her back to back to functioning. All right, well, we are finally going home. We got Danielle some breakfast from Chick-fil-A. The steroids make her like really shaky and stuff, so eating sometimes helps with that. Then I got her medicine so she can take her treatment in a couple hours. We are gonna go home and we are going to watch some Riverdale because I don't feel good either. I'm just gonna have a relaxed day with Danielle. Hey. He's like, all these kisses. I missed you yesterday. Whoa. Yeah. Liam. 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 Guys, today's day was supposed to be super productive and it has not been at all. But it's okay. We're gonna have a relaxing night. I'm gonna edit a little bit. I took a really long, much needed nap. I feel a lot, lot better. My blood pressure is getting lower on the meds. So, sorry Lex is being crazy, but my blood pressure is getting lower on the meds, so I hope that means that things are gonna settle down soon. I have my cardio appointment in two days. They're gonna be doing the stress test, the PST, which is basically the lung stress test, and they'll also be doing an echo. to so just make sure there's nothing wrong with my heart. No, you can't go, you can't go in the dishwasher. No dishwasher. Oh, Lex, where's your shirt, buddy? It's either tomorrow or Wednesday, on the 8th. Liam will be 21 months. Can't believe it, we're only a couple months from Liam's birthday. Next month is Lex's fourth birthday. And then December is Lonnie's 14th. I'm just like, oh my goodness, my kids need to stop growing. You need new clothes, buddy. 
Danielle's feeling better. She's about to take her other her other breathing treatment. This is kind of what I was talking about in her video that it went up today because today is the video that she had like a lot of nausea and not feeling good at school and had to go pick her up. Once it gets closer to like the winter season, she starts getting sick a lot because of her asthma. She starts having asthma issues a lot. It's difficult. She's been homeschooled for three years now, so I haven't really had to deal with what do we do when she is having issues? Well, before she would just do her schoolwork in her bed if she wasn't feeling good, or we'd wait until her breathing was better and then she'd do her schoolwork then. It's harder when they're in middle and high school because they have specific classes at specific times kind of thing. So it's just, it's a little bit more tricky, but we are gonna work it out. I'm actually going to try to go to the school tomorrow and talk to them to see if there's a good solution, if we should do like a 504 plan. But guys, Penelope is getting her third tooth. This is Lex's favorite place. Yeah. I think I'm about ready to place the first order for our sensory room things. The only thing is like Liam doesn't play with a lot of toys. Some of the bigger sensory items I wanted to put on his Christmas list, but then I feel kind of bad for just getting him sensory items for Christmas. I mean, of course he'll get other stuff as far as his big gifts, but then at the same time, I don't wanna just buy stuff just for him to have stuff that he's never going to play with. So it's, it's definitely tricky when you have special needs kids that aren't playing with typical things. Like Lex was different. Lex for his second birthday, if you guys watched that video, if not, I'll link it below. He loved like house stuff and brooms and vacuums. It was easy for him. Like I just got him a bunch of kitchen stuff and house little play stuff. No, sir. Daddy has to put a lid on that. And like for a little bit, Liam was taking cars and dinosaurs and like making them go all over the floor, all over the house. And so I thought, well, maybe I can get him some cars and dinosaurs for Christmas, but he's not really doing that anymore. So there's not much we can do. So I'm trying to figure it out. So comment below and let me know if you think it's acceptable for me to get Liam like big sensory items as part of his Christmas list. This Christmas, we were doing things a lot differently than last Christmas. If you followed us for last Christmas. It was crazy last Christmas. This Christmas I'm doing more thoughtful gifts. That's kind of what we did a couple years back. It was a great Christmas for the kids. They got plenty, but the things they did get were really thought out things that I thought that they would love. So that's basically what I'm doing this year. Instead of going to the stores and letting them decide what I want or need, I'm going to make a list before we go. It doesn't mean I won't pick up a thing here or there, but it's not going to be like last year. Last year was... Last year was crazy. Sissy will not be happy with you. She curls her eyelashes with that. Danielle, Lex has your eyelash curler. What? Where is he? Right here, I got it from him. You're about to have to do your treatment. Liam, 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 <gasps> there you are. Hi, Nellie. Did big brother cover you up? You're so cute. Look at her tea first. Hi, Nellie. Hi, Liam. 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 There you are. Hi. <laughs> Guys, look how good she is at sitting up. Penelope. <gasps> there you are, Penelope. <gasps> Excuse you. <gasps> I can get you. You like those? You like those toys? Guys, this was not not the start of the week I wanted, but I have live streamed. I've been trying to edit, but my blood pressure keeps going up. So I'm just gonna be relaxing and trying to rest and then starting the day over. I'm just thankful that I have a cardio appointment on Wednesday. So hopefully we can get some answers to kind of see what's possibly causing my blood pressure to just start skyrocketing out of the blue. A lot of people have asked a few questions about my blood pressure, so I'm just going to briefly answer them. One is if I took myself off of medication. I was taken off medication by doctors. My blood pressure was really good a couple weeks ago, like 117 over 75. It's been consistently stable, so there'd be no reason for me to be on meds. I am back on meds now. Another common question, is this normal for after pregnancy? It can be, and then it cannot be. Sometimes if you have hypertension in pregnancy, it does continue like 
for myself. For other people, they have no issues at all. I don't know that this has anything to do with my preeclampsia, honestly. I got postpartum preeclampsia, my blood pressure got up, and then it regulated, and now it's back up. I don't know. We're just going to see what the cardiologist says. I'm ready to kind of have some answers. However, I love you guys, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya. And